Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm talking about five brands five brands that I really want to five brands I really want to try but I haven't done it yet and one thing that is like almost with all of these brands is because it is expensive to ship it to Sweden so we can start with a brand that isn't expensive to ship to I'm going to put in pictures, I just remember. The one brand this, that is selling in Europe and that is Sugar Pill. I still haven't tried Sugar Pill and I really want to, but I like don't know where I should begin. I thought that I wanted the fun size palette, first I was like no. But then I saw videos after videos and I'm like maybe I want to try this palette but I still haven't and some of their single shadows looks amazing and like the pigmentation is amazing and everything but I still haven't tried sugar pill I have tried nothing not even a lipstick not a single eyeshadow so I really would like to try sugar pill but it's like I don't know where to begin I don't know what to buy first. I don't know if I'm going to buy single shadows. What single shadows should I start with? I don't know. So it's hard for me with sugar peel because I don't know what I should start with. And then I also want to try Black Moon Cosmetics. And I I want their is it full moon palette. Like boring palette. That is one of Betty Jean's favorites and I am like, I really want to try that palette and I would love to try some of their lipsticks. They have like a red lip bundle. I want it in my life but for this year no red lip is for me but I am actually thinking about ordering from Black Moon Cosmetics if they have any Black Friday sale. So I am going to talk to Jessica and she see if we can order together because I really really want to try their stuff and I have to order at least one lipstick. Next up we can take Cleonad Cosmetics and first when they came with their stained glass collection I was like that is nothing for me. But then I saw video after video and I was like, that is amazing. That is like, what? How? How is this possible? They look like nothing out of this world. And like the swatches, they look amazing. And I <laughs> would love to try some other shadows from them like the normal shadows but these stained glass looks good but they are expensive and like the shipping to Sweden and the customs another indie brand also I was so close to order from them but again the shipping the customs and sometimes it's like the shipping is more than the actual product and then you have to add customs to that so it's like I'm paying more in fees and shipping than I do for the actual product and I don't like to do that but I would love to try Divina and especially like some of their green shadows and yeah I, I don't know I love green apparently now don't know what happened but I would really love to try some of their green they had a green lucky clover I think it was called a bundle but I was like in the checkout on Divina and it was like not worth it no it was too expensive with the shipping and customs and it feels I am so mm, it makes me a little bit like like annoyed or angry that I have to pay customs for things that I can't order inside of EU and yeah I know it's hard okay I want the makeup but I would really love to try Divina and the last brand I don't know if I pronounce this right Necromancy Nec 
Necromancy Cosmetics. These I have been like intrigued like for three years or something. I think it was in the beginning when they came. I was like, these are some really, really cool lipsticks. And then I was like forgetting about them. But then their Instagram <laughs> Instagram came up in this like, yeah, the Explorer page. And I was like, that brand, I know, they have really cool things. And it feels like people really love their lipsticks and their colors are like amazing. And I love the name, I love the packaging. All their lipsticks are vegan, but I haven't bought any of their lipsticks yet. And I think these are one of the things that I'm going to buy next year because I think I want a red one and I'm not going to buy any red lipsticks this year. So I think next year when my low buy is over and I can finally buy a red lipstick again, maybe I will buy from them because their lipsticks look amazing. So yeah. Okay, and that was all for this video. This was a very short video. Maybe some of you think finally maybe she can just stop talking but these are five brands that I really want to try but I haven't and most of them is <laughs> because of the shipping and the customs and everything and for you that lives in the US lucky you um, yeah that's all I have to say to you lucky you for being in a country where all the fun things is so yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Have you tried any of these brands and what do you think of them? Can you recommend some of these brands? Or can you like talk me out of buying things from this brand? Please do so I don't have to buy it. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!